What are the, what's the word on this? We're going in and out or we're going well, in? James wants us to see if we can get it. Oh, I see a back door. Don't worry about it. I saw a door. Let's go. It's the day that the film crew was out uh, to uh, actually film the property. Uh, we were not allowed to go in. Can you do me a favor, Vince? Can you just start like popping off rounds in the air? <laughs> in addition to this building, uh, you can see here that we also have a single family house. So when we were told we had to come film this place, what did you think was going to happen? This one? Yeah. Pretty much what happened. Yeah, sucks. Yeah. I mean, I would have liked to get in. So there's some bullet holes in there too. I mean, where else do we bullet holes? Are we trespassing? Are we trespassing? I mean, technically. I'm no, we're job. selling this place. Yeah, but we can't get up there. We're not Spider-Man. Hey, anybody in there? You want to open this door down here for us? It is currently being rented to a motorcycle gang uh, who, based upon uh, the photos of all the bras and the titty holders hanging up all over the building, I believe they just, like, you know, get real drunk and bang in there. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Motorcycles and whores. That's what we're talking about today, y'all. Motorcycles and whores. Because... That's, that's what we got for you today, right? This property, 3326 Stickney Ave, right? Toledo, okay? What we got here is a little combination uh, property. We have one commercial building, all right? And it's a big one, okay? It's pretty huge. It's a 5,440 square foot building. Uh, it is currently being rented to a motorcycle gang uh, who, based upon... Uh, the photos of all the bras and the titty holders hanging up all over the building. I believe they just like, you know, get real drunk and bang whores in there, um, which makes sense, right? Because the day that the film crew was out uh, to uh, actually film the property, uh, we were not allowed to go in, which I understand if you're trying to bang some horse, you don't want a bunch of jackasses uh, coming in, trying to film you, trying to sell your, your whore den. So I get that. I do understand. They actually uh, did supply us with photos, though. They were nice enough to take photos uh, of the interior of the Horden and send those in to us. I like how they actually left uh, our sign. They, they ripped our sign off uh, the wall there, and then they uh, left that in, in the picture for us. I guess they were letting us know, like, yo, uh, this is our Horden. Uh, don't bother us by putting signs up on our whore den. So what we have is uh, the, the current the current use of this, right, is this motorcycle club, right? It's, like, it's got like a real, a real Sons of Anarchy feel here. Uh, so we have that, okay, and those guys are currently paying uh, $400 a month in rent to the current seller, okay, and that is on a month-to-month -month lease. Now, for the market rent of that building, uh, I have – a projection for you of 1500 Now, that's not to say I currently believe uh, the building's current use uh, of like a motorcycle hoarden is going to be something that can generate $1,500 a month for you. I do not believe uh, the current group of semi-aggressive, angry motorcycle guys uh, is going to be willing to pay more than $400 a month, right? So it's probably a safe bet uh, for you to know that if you would like to increase that rent, uh, from 400 to 1500, uh, you're going to want to utilize the space in a different way uh, than it is currently being used. Because I do not believe, as fun as titties are, uh, that a motorcycle club whore den is the highest and best use of uh, the 5,500 or so square feet uh, that we have here. So some renovation and potentially like a new tenancy uh, might be in the future for 
investors who'd like to make some money off of this property. In addition to this building, uh, you can see here that we also have a single family house, okay? And I believe there is like three bedrooms uh, in one bathroom, or it was it could have been like four two. It was either four beds and two baths, or three beds and one bath. Uh, the current seller, she's not exactly sure. She hasn't been inside of it in a very long time. Uh, it actually was condemned by the city. Now, the way the process works when you buy a condemned house, folks, just so everybody is aware, uh, when the, the city goes in and they condemns a house, some people think that like immediately means the house is going to get torn down. That is actually not what it means. Uh, what it means is the city has said it is not habitable at this time, and then you have like X amount of violations that you need to correct uh, before it become habitable, right? And typically when you get condemned, they really get into your butt about like going in and fixing like every and anything, right? So things that could have been grandfathered in are probably not going to be grandfathered in, right? So you could get this single family home up to about $1,200 a month in rent, right? So we have the potential here uh, to bring in $2,700 a month in rent, but I've priced this thing at such a low price, right? $49,900 because it's not necessarily going to be the easiest path to get to that $2,700 in rent, so we needed to factor that in, right? As discussed at length uh, to get from where you are today to $1,500 in rent at the commercial building, you have like a pesky little uh, situation with a motorcycle uh, whore den, right? So you have to take care of that. And then additionally, you have a condemned house. Now, to fix that condemned house, folks, you're probably going to need to spend in the ballpark of like between 60 and like 90K, somewhere in there. Now, that could be a lot less uh, if you are somebody who's in the trades, who's a contractor themselves, who knows what's going on, doing a lot of the sweat equity themselves, right? Uh, but if you're like a, a fresh, brand new out-of-state investor and you don't have a lot of contacts in Toledo and you need to like just go out and hire property managers and third-party companies to come in and do those renovations for you, I would say this is probably not the best deal ever, right? Because like being a brand new out-of-state investor and fixing a condemned house is kind of a pain and it's tough to do uh being a brand new uh housing investor not a lot of context in the area and, and dealing with like a semi-aggressive motorcycle whore den also somewhat kind of difficult and th then if you take both of those scenarios and you combine them together uh it's really not a good rookie deal. I would say this is, is going to be more for uh, our seasoned and astute investors, right? Investors who've been in the game a long time, investors who know how to navigate uh, sticky situations, right? Things of that nature. So uh, my recommendation would be if you're a seasoned uh, investor who's been doing this a very, very long time, I would say this could potentially be something for you, especially if you've got a vision uh, for what you'd like to do with that commercial space as well as what you'd like to do um, with the condemned house. As far as getting inside for showings uh, and things of that nature, currently the house is uh, completely boarded up. If you'd like to go inside the house, uh, you would have to bring a drill to remove some of the plywood uh, at one of the doorways to actually get in. I suggest you proceed with caution to get inside the motorcycle club uh that's going to be difficult uh we've provided all the photos we have i mean it's pretty much just like a large blank slate um if you like uh you can see if those guys will let you in but in uh our experiences they're they're not they're not really down for that um so it's kind of a little difficult situation, but know that you would have a blank slate and you could pretty much do whatever you'd like uh, with this commercial space uh, in the near future, except for one thing, one thing only uh, in the contract. If you were to buy this particular property, you'd have to sign an agreement uh, stating that you're not going to implement a convenience store over the next like 10 years or so, uh, because the particular seller uh, who owns this building also owns a neighboring convenience store and she's not interested uh, in new competition moving into her neighborhood. But other than that, uh, it's a blank slate. I mean, hey, you could just continue collecting the $400 a month uh, from the motorcycle guys. I mean, uh, we made uh, some jokes about the, the boobies and stuff hanging on the wall uh, and, and their aggressiveness. Uh, but 
they actually do pay the rent. They just would like to be left alone to do their thing, right? So, I don't know. Maybe that relationship could work out for you. But, uh, obviously, a friggin' 5,500-square-foot 5, building uh, only getting $400 a month in rent doesn't really work out from a cash flow perspective. So, you'd really want to increase that. Uh, but I will leave that up to you and how you'd like to handle it. So, if taken on this incredibly unique project is something you're interested in, send your offers to my team sales at holtonwise.com uh we will only be accepting cash offers for this particular property right cash offers preferably as is offers if you want to make an offer contingent on inspection again i can't stress to you enough i don't know how well that's going to go i can't really guarantee you that i'm going to be able to get our tenants uh the motorcycle club to uh acquiesce and, and play ball here they're again little aggressive so uh cash as is offers uh and you can take down this unique project let's go that house is leaning to the left yeah, hard in the front. what are the what's the word on this we're going in and out or we're going well, in see if we can get it. oh i see a back door don't worry about it i saw a door let's go i'm gonna go with you and we'll just do drone after him. okay yeah come with me Oh, dude, this is a and e bro. We don't get to do a lot of, of legit B&Es. <laughs> I'll take some of the uh, off. Hey, can you just start, like, oh, firing yeah. your gun? Can you do me a favor, Vince? Can you just start, like, popping off rounds in the air? <laughs> yeah, I saw this door, and it didn't look... Right there's good. Yeah. But it, now that I'm seeing it, it might not even have a handle on it, bro. It might be one of those ones that can only open from the inside. It's like an exit, you know what I mean? Oh, just step right in front of the guy filming the guy doing the thing. I will. Oh. It's the easiest look back. <laughs> we can't, there's like no way at it's, all. It's, a, it's an exit on the door. <laughs> hello? Uh, hello, please. Cut, cut on there, bro. There's a lot of cameras here for this place to be abandoned. <laughs> yeah, and I think somebody has been shooting at it recently, so there's some bullet holes in there, too. I mean, where else do we bullet holes? It also says no litter. I have a cash. How? Well, I don't think we can get it. What the fuck? I rang the doorbell on the, the storefront. Nobody answered. Are we trespassing? Are we trespassing? I mean, technically. I'm no, we're selling this place. There, should put it on the fence? No, I would put it here because the so fence is for that property over there. Yeah, that's their property. Uh, you you can use? You can always screw it right into the door here. It might not be quite as visible. I'll put it over here. Okay. Well, be careful. Hell yeah, dude. Super soakers back here. They got it all. Wonder why this place is scheduled for demolition. That door looks there. I see that. I'd buy it, dude. Oh, that door's just wide open. That's cool. Yeah, but we can't get up there. We're not fucking Spider Man. Hey, anybody in there, you want to open this door down here for us? So, when we were told we had to come film this place, what did you think was going to happen? This one? Yeah. Pretty much what happened. Yeah, sucks. Yeah. I mean, we, I would have liked to get in. This is something, something, something sticky. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.